Well, you've probably heard the saying, the breast is best when it comes to feeding young infants. Breastfeeding lowers the risk of many types of infections and allergies. But what if you're headed out to a holiday celebration and you have a drink or two and you're a nursing mom? How does that alcohol affect your milk and how does it affect your baby? Joining us this morning to separate fact from fiction is lactation consultant Jane Groswold. Good morning, Jane. Thanks for getting up with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Uh, you know, there are, all, of course, the, the science is pretty well documented that breastfeeding is very, very good for infants. Uh, but I just recently read in a baby magazine that the old pump and dump theory, where if you have a couple of drinks, you just pump and throw it away, that that actually doesn't do you any good. What do you know about that? Well, it's true. We know that breast milk is affected by a woman's bloodstream and blood alcohol levels are similar to milk levels of alcohol for, for a new mom. So if her blood alcohol level is high in her bloodstream, it's gonna be high at that point in her milk as well. So you can't just pump once and get rid of it. It's gonna stay with you for longer than that? It really kind of depends on, on how much you're drinking. You know, the American Academy of Pediatrics does say that uh, alcohol can be compatible with breastfeeding, but they're really talking about a limited amount of alcohol and on a limited basis and generally not an everyday kind of thing. So for the mom who's considering going out for a celebration for her employer or, you know, kind of an employee picnic or party kind of thing, it is fine to have a glass of wine or a beer. But just be aware of the fact that as long as your blood alcohol level is elevated, it's elevated as well in your, in your breast milk. So is there a hard line of at two drinks, three drinks, that's when you should um, stop or that's when you should you know, continue to, to pump and get rid of it or is it on an individual basis? Well, it's sort of individualized, but I think anything over two drinks, a woman would really want to consider emptying her breasts and not feeding her baby at that point, especially if she feels under the influence of the alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. if she has a glass of wine with supper and three hours later she feels normal, I'm not too worried about that, but I am worried about a person who would be drinking every day or more than a couple of drinks. So for those moms that are just going out for a holiday party and they're having a glass of wine or a beer or two, not such a concern. But if someone who's having a lot of alcohol or a lot of mixed cocktails, that's a, that's a different story. And pumping and dumping only removes the milk that has that level of alcohol. If you continue to drink, you're going to need to con consider emptying your breasts and not feeding your baby at that point. Okay, so really it comes down to how mom feels. Exactly. Okay. Here's another breastfeeding. I don't know if it's a fact or fiction. Um, I've been told that having like a beer actually increases your milk supply. Is that true? Well, it does elevate one of the hormones that's responsible for making milk, and that's prolactin. And I know that because of animal studies. Um, it's not really been studied very well in humans, um, but it does affect the other hormone of lactation, and that is oxytocin, and that's the the, the hormone that affects the breast's ability to drop milk to the baby. So while it sounds great, it elevates prolactin levels, it does have effect on how much milk babies get when they do breastfeed. So again, it's got kind of that double-edged sword. You know, it may boost prolactin levels, but drinking it to try to boost a prolactin level is not going to be the best way um, to make milk. Actually, it's relieving milk or taking milk out of the breast that tells the breast to make more and that's a much better system than relying on alcohol to do that for you. So just feeding your baby when your baby's hungry is the best way? That's exactly right, yep. All right, well Jane, thank you so much for joining us this morning and separating some myth from fact for us as we come into the holiday season and uh, we appreciate all your advice. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us.